Ai te taha o tōku pāpā, ko Ngāti Mania Poto te iwi, ko Ngāti Kino Haku, me Ngāti Rora Ngā Hapu. Peka atu ki te wako o te arua, ko Tongarero te maunga, ko Taupo Nui Atia te moana, ko te hiuhiu te tangata. A ko Ngāti Tūwhare Tō te iwi, ko Ngāti Tūrangi Tukua te hapu. I te taha o tōku whaia, no tia tia wa hau, a ko hamua te hapu. Ano reira tēnā koutou katoa. So growing up, with uh, my mum teaching me, I was blessed because she taught me in the most natural way, you know, a lot of different weaving techniques. So she taught me raranga, you know, the art of basketry, kono and kite. Uh, she taught me tāniko and whatu kākuhu, piu piu. Um, and my dad taught me tuku tuku, which is a male art form, and ko fai fai. So it was great to have the two of them teaching me all of these different techniques. And now I find that they've all come together in this wonderful sphere of yummy creativity. <laughs> Yeah, so they, they all blend in really well together. Mm. And I love pushing the boundaries and seeing where I can take kite design. Of all the techniques I have learnt, one of my most favourite things is to weave kākahu. Mm. They take a long time. From the cutting of the harakiki and extracting the mocha and plying the fibres, washing the fibres, and weaving. You know, that could be anything from four months to nine months, a long time. Unless there is no right way, there is no wrong way, there is just the best way. And everything you make, sure there's tikanga involved in weaving, but everything you make, you may have to change because of the conditions of the material or because of the way you're feeling. So do it the right way for you.